here is the experiment, the imploding can. First, I have a pop can, and I'm going to rinse it out to get rid of any extra pop or goo. I also have a cup of ice to add to the water to make it even colder. Next, I'm going to turn on the burner on high. I'm now going to add only two tablespoons of water to the can, just enough to cover the bottom. to put the can on the burner and I also have my tongs here for after to take the can and put it into the water. Okay. Now to tell that it has or it's ready to be put into the water, um, I have to see water vapor coming through the top and I also have to he uh, hear a bubbling noise of the water boiling. And once I hear that, then I have to wait one more minute and then it should be ready. Now we wait. Right now you can see some steam. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's probably from just the water on the outside. There's a little bit more now. Alright, now there's lots of water vapor coming through the top, you can see it, and I can hear a boiling noise, the bubbling. So now we're going to wait a little bit longer, and then I'll be able to dump it into this ice cold water. The bubbling noise is getting louder, and there's a lot more, a really uh, crazy amount of water vapor coming through the top. I have my tongs ready and my sleeves rolled up so I don't uh, get my shirt burned by the burner. Well, now there's a lot of a lot of water vapor coming to the top. Soon I'll be dumping it into the water. all in here now. Alright. There we go. It worked. And there's the final product. The imploded can. Oh, it's actually kind of stuck. There we go. That's my imploding can science experiment.
I got a feeling that tonight's gonna